Guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today, I've got something that's very, very cool. A lot of you automotive car gearhead guys are gonna love this one. As you guys know, I've had a bunch of uh, OBD2 scanners and diagnostic tools sent to me from many manufacturers. They range from the super cheap ones that are like $15, $20, to the semi-expensive ones, about $500. Uh, today, we're gonna do the high-end stuff. Um, I have a lot of them, and they all work pretty well, um, but this one is the cream of the crop. This is made by Ansel, and it's a 10.1 inch tablet. That's right, it's like an iPad with 25 gigabytes of memory in here, and you could try and do everything you need to do with your car. Uh, more than 10 different reset functions. So many that I can't list, but I'll be flashing these banners next to me throughout the video. So you'll see and you'll read exactly what this does. Uh, you ready for this? It's also wireless too. How many times do you try to hook up your OBD2 and you have that OBD2 cable hanging all over the place, right? Well, this one is a Bluetooth module that goes into your OBD2 module connection. And you could be walking around your car or your garage with the tablet in your hand. Let's unbox it right now. So last night when I got it, I opened it up already and I charged it. And I downloaded the modules for the cars that I need it for. It has a million different kinds of car requests from around the country, right? So even from China, all different kinds of name brands of cars that you've never even heard of. This is a serial number uh, printout over here. This is the instruction manual. Uh, if you wanted to get 100% use out of this and complete knowledge on how to use it, read this instruction manual. But for my purposes, I just want to read codes and faults in cars. That's all I want it for. So here it is right here. Uh, I also connected this to my Wi-Fi. And when you turn it on, there is a on and off button here as long as well as uh, up volume and down volume. Uh, over here you have a USB port uh, input as well as a USB-C charging port. Vents and let's just turn this on real quick. There you go. You guys see that? Ansel. Swipe up, right? And then you'll have these displays. Look at that. Um, you can put your email on here, files. It works just like an iPad or an Android device. It even has a camera. Look at that. <laughs> it has a camera so you could take photos of whatever you're doing. Fantastic. Settings. Return, there we go. Um, also it has Play Store, which I tried to download the YouTube app, but I wasn't able to do it. See, when you pressed it, it says couldn't sign in, even though I did put in my sign-on information. So it takes a little bit of a learning curve. Um, once you do get this going, I have to try to kind of slowly figure out what it does. It does so much, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, Here's the diagnostics tab right there. Function list, settings, user, and on this side you have the diagnosis, hot function, update, data manager, quick support. So let's just say we do the hot function, right? You can do the oil reset. You can do your TPMS sensors, fuel injectors, SAS, ABS, throttle, EPB, that's the parking brake, right? Your battery analyzing. Uh, in real-time data as well. And here you can program your keys. As you guys know, I just bought a truck recently and I only have one key. And I was looking for a OBD2 scanner that also programmed keys. In a future episode, I'm gonna go buy a key, have it cut. And we're gonna use this thing to try to program it for my truck. That'll be awesome. Now, this was very easy to update um, in relation to other 
tablet type OBD2 scanner diagnostic tools, you just press update, right? And as long as you had your Wi-Fi connected, right? Um, I downloaded basically all the Ford and Mercedes modules where all the information is on there. As you can see, it has all different kinds of cars. Even cars that you've never heard of. Oh, Skoda. Actually, I used to have a Skoda. It's a Czechoslovakian um, manufacturer. Uh, we're going to go to America here. And I have a Ford F-150 Super Crew. Okay, you can Bluetooth pair this with um, this item over here. This is the module that you use to connect to the OBD2 connection in the bottom of your car. It has the cables. Here's a printer port type cable. Oh, um, which is for attaching this to your printer. So you can download the data and you can print your reports on your printer at home <laughs> in case you wanted to. Or you could just take a picture of the report, screenshot it. Here is the OBD2 um, harness connector where this connects to this module here. And on the other side, it connects to your OBD2 connection right there. So on one end, you would connect it to this serial port. This side, you would connect this part, the printer port, one if you wanted to print see and also if you wanted to download your data it has a standard micro usb that connects uh, onto the tablet itself to your hard drive if you want also comes with a power adapter for your wall also, what you can do is this, which is very unusual and very great. You could actually go on the internet, it has a browser app here, where you can go to your mail, or you can go watch YouTube. Uh, this is very useful because sometimes when you're looking through things, right, and um, you don't know the answer to it, you can Google things. So instead of getting onto your phone and doing it, this tablet also search the internet for you like i said it's like an ipad or an android tablet device and at the same time one of the most modern and uh comprehensive obd2 diagnostic scanner tools <laughs> what will they think of next it's rubber coated as you can see and super lightweight and very thin there's the camera right there how about that huh is that amazing the things that they come out with these days really really impressive it's not going to be as fast as your um, regular ipad because of the processor speeds but uh, for a primarily the tool is a scanner for your car right but it gives you the um, opportunity and options to do what you need amazing um, I'm going to pair it to the Bluetooth in my car, and we'll just hook it up real quick to see. So in my household, I only have two Mercedes. I have an Acura Legend, which is OBD1, so you can't use it for that. And my uh, new-to-me Ford 150 Super Crew. We're going to plug it into here and see what happens. So with the Mercedes... You have to plug it all the way in on top. You have to put your head in there and try to hook it up. They don't make it easy for you because they don't want you to work on your own car, see? And as you can see, the module is now lit up. Power, vehicle, and it Bluetooth is flashing. So I'm going to try to pair up this to that, and that will be completely wireless. So I'm in the car now. I have the ignition clicked one setting and it's waiting for me to prompt the Bluetooth. Sorry, you guys can't see this very well. It's hard. But over here you have the settings screen. There's for your uh, network internet. And over here we have your 
battery life, which is I charged at 100%, so it's 97 now. Display, you can put your own wallpapers, sound. It's just like an iPad, you know. Uh, your storage. And uh, let's see, where is the apps and notifications? And right here, connected devices. So I'm going to try to pair this with this, and we'll uh, show you in a second. Okay, so it was so easy. I just turned it on, and it paired it. I didn't even press any buttons. And now the Bluetooth is not blinking. It's steady. Here's a very cool feature. If you get a code, I don't have any codes, but if you get a code, it has all the codes here for you. Tells you from P001 all the way to, I mean, unlimited, you know, all the way to the end. Uh, I remember my truck had a P130 and that was an oxygen sensor. There you go, P130 oxygen. Then P150 was also an oxygen sensor, the other bank. And it is O2 sensor circuit bank 2 sensor. So it if you don't know what uh, your code is, this tells you what your code is. It's obviously, look, I, I'm already up to uh, P200 and it's, it's only there. So it goes all the way down to there. So this has the entire Bible, basically, of what your code describes it to be, the fault description. Uh, like I said, this, this thing is way too uh advanced for a guy like me but for guys like you who probably need a thorough comprehensive diagnosis of um, your ecu uh, you can like i said you can update it with your wi-fi pick the car you want with a specific module for what model car you can choose the you know modules here you just tap the screen and it downloads the information onto your um tablet and then you'll have it for your specific vehicle. Unbelievable, just unbelievable piece of equipment. So there you go, guys. This is the Ansel X7 uh, OBD2 DTC Diagnostic Scanner. This is way too much for what my purposes are for. But for guys like you who are mechanics and shop owners, uh, running your own shop and repairing cars on a regular basis, you have to have this to diagnose exactly what's wrong with the vehicle. Um, like I said, very slim, small little tablet. And you guys saw I couldn't figure out 98% of what it does. Uh, for a guy like me, all I need is this $15 OBD2 uh, scanner tool. But for guys like you, you need this. Ansel X7. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested wireless, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It's an internet browser. You can get your email on it. You can download updates uh, automatically through Wi-Fi. Um, what will they think of next? Fantastic. Uh, I love it. As a matter of fact, even though I don't really need it, I'm going to keep it anyway. <laughs> See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.
I'm Andy from Jericho. See, See you guys, guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Blowers.